tracking so we can warn you first. This is your Storm Team 27 forecast. Now you know we're the eighth snowiest March on record and we're not expecting any more snow for March, all right? However, we do have more rain in the forecast on the last day of March. Will, will it be enough to put us in the top 10 wettest marches on record? It'd be over an inch of rain. I don't think so, but it is supposed to be a, a rainy Friday, so prepare for that. We'll continue to track that. As for how much rain we've had today, most of the rain, like we were mentioning yesterday with Future Tracker, would be up in Trumbull County, and that's held true. About two tenths of an inch there. Generally, the rest of the area got a tenth of an inch or less, enough to make all the roads wet. Winds have picked up here too this afternoon. They were just up to 10 miles per hour. Now they're more in the 13, 14 mile per hour range. So if you're going to go out and take a walk and try to avoid the puddles, it is going to be a little breezy. Uh, for this afternoon, there's still some light rain, but this will be the end of it. This is moving out of Lawrence County to the east. A little bit of light rain up in the outside the Cleveland area. 52 is our temperature. We're trying to push it towards that uh, 60 degree reading here this afternoon. And future tracker, next chance of rain. We'll have a, a dry night and a cold night, too. And then we'll start to get some rain Thursday afternoon. Temperatures are in the mid-50s there. Rain's moving through about 2.30, 3 o'clock. This is the light stuff, though, because we'll get a little heavier rain at 9 o'clock on Thursday, but the real rain comes our way, as I mentioned, on Friday. And look how it it's rainier there at 6 a.m. during first news this morning, Friday morning, and that'll continue into Friday afternoon and evening and end probably Saturday morning. As for us today, mostly cloudy afternoon. We've gotten rid of the morning rain. 60 is our expected high, but uh, tonight, mostly cloudy skies. Temperature dropping to 43 by midnight. That doesn't sound too bad. However, what sounds bad is fog developing during the overnight and the temperature at 34 degrees. That combination on bridges and overpasses could mean there might be some slippery spots. Then we'll get to the afternoon, partly sunny and 52 degrees. So we'll have a dry afternoon. As for Thursday, there's a chance of rain. I showed you about 2.30, 3 o'clock in the afternoon with a high of 54. Uh, Friday looks more or less as a, a washout there with a high of 60, so you won't be able to enjoy that temperature. But Saturday, rain ends in the morning. High 55 in the afternoon, 57 and dry on Sunday. Temperature trying to get back up to 60 by next Monday. This is the start of April there on Saturday into next week. By Tuesday of next week, 56 and a chance of showers.